Now, if I'd like to do something like this kind of uh, application, which is a nice application that allows you to play with things, like if you'd like to do some kind of animation, uh, some graphical game that is going to move something around, like uh, it's not as easy as it sounds, but the basics of it is that you need to manipulate the graphics inside like a drawing uh, inside the frame like you're drawing on it now we're not going to be drawing to a frame because the frame is the whole thing but what we're going to be doing is have a panel for example like this and inside that panel we'd like to be able to draw things so how can we do that this is what i'd like to introduce you to actually there's a very th this thing has was taken from a very interesting website I think it's this one and I strongly advise you to have a look at it because it's really kind of interesting this one of it's the same website that I just actually pointed you to and this is kind of very interesting they have a lot of very interesting exercises like this ones here for example now with this graphics this movable movable for example this here this is coming as, as basic uh, an example an exercise based on this move a line which is basically the same thing but with a line instead of it's a simpler version this just works at with just working with the line and basically what you need to do is you're still extending JFrame and do some kind of things but the thing is that you need to do some action uh, let me just yeah okay uh well uh, we're going to do something uh, different here uh well yeah this this thing this is what i would like to point to you see this this is some kind of a specific panel that extends the panel but then where we paint the panel the way we want it to be painted and that's the kind of thing we actually just draw lines and set some kind of colors and this is what we're going to be playing with we're going to be doing such a thing where we're going to be drawing things it's like it's like drawing on not a, the whole frame but just a panel and in order for us to be doing that we'd like to maybe just to have some kind of a special panel that we just put things in it and so it, when it when you draw the panel it will just draw the way we want it to draw so let's just have a look at, at this thing how we can do that so let's create a new project that we're going to that let's call it uh, week five intro graphics or maybe movable move a ball okay so in this movable thing well I should have called it something different but because now the class is going to be called movable but you know what I'm just going to do something kind of different you see this is my movable right I'm going to leave the main here and this movable is going to extend the J frame can I do that well yes why not I've always used to put the main in a separate class just for the organization but I just would like to show you that this is possible so you don't think that oh it has to be always like that this is possible to have like here this is my main and then here for example I'm just going to do this new movable and then I'm going to make set visible to be true now if I run this thing like this it's just going to put this normal thing here and then I can increase it because I did not put anything in there yet so I'm just going to initialize now by creating the constructor and in that constructor I'm just going to set default close operation to be exit on close and then uh, let's call the super constructor by setting this is movable And then uh, set size. Let's put the set size to I don't know 500 by 500. 
and then what else we can do? We can just location. set the location. But you know, by set the location, there's something else that I can do. Set relative or I don't know, it's kind of very slow now. There's some other thing that I can use that actually, you know what, I saw it on Hussein's screen. Set, but I don't remember. Set location relative to. Yeah, this, exactly. So this is, if you'd like to put this in relation to others, but if you, if you put the set relation to and then you put to null, this is going to make it in the center of the screen by default. So you don't have to count how many pixels there and there. So just by doing this, uh, let me, oh, I forgot to close this. By using this set, this frame to be relative to, uh, in connection to none. And this is going to, the effect of that is, got, is going to put it just right in the middle without ha you having to think about anything. We can still use the set location if you want to, but this is kind of, you don't have to calculate, okay, where is the center of the screen is. So instead of just set location, you just, you set location relative to you and then you put null there. That means it's not related to anything, so it will be just centered in the screen. Now, uh, set layout, definitively I'm just going to use the what kind of layout we should be using to get something like this? By the way, it makes sense. Let's do that. I don't know. I can. This is also. I mean, if you'd like to really have it exactly the same way, we could have used grid layout with two rows, one column. Let's do that to make to make it close. So I'm just going to make it new grid layout. No, not grid bag layout. Just grid. Layout. And then the number of rows are two rows and then one column. So this is going to split them into two. So in the first one up there, I'm going to create a panel. So J panel. I'm going to call it. Uh, panel but look, this panel is not like the normal panel because I'd like to be able to change this panel so this one basically should be one of like a de customly designed panels so what basically I'm going to do I will create a class which is I'm going to call my panel that is going to extend the J panel now in this class, I'm not going to put anything yet. I'll do that later. But here, I just would like to put my panel instead. So this is the, the, the my panel that I'm going to draw, my drawing panel. And by doing this, it's just going to be for now, it's exactly like a panel because it extends the panel. It inherits everything from the J panel. So it extends the J panel. That means everything that is a J panel is going to be my panel. For now, there is no difference between the J panel and my panel. It will be in the future, but for now it's the same. Why am I saying this? Because I'd like to show you that if I use this my drawing panel dot set color, set background color to be uh, this color that uh, I don't know color that cyan is that basically that color that you've seen you've seen there but before doing this I just need to initialize it I call new J panel no new my panel so this panel just set the background color to be this so this is the background color so I'm getting I'm getting this in the bottom I would like to have something like this so to have like this up down left and right how can I do this a grid layout well I can use a grid layout as well I can but a grid layout of what 
one column, three rows and one column. But if I use this this uh, grid layout here in the middle, I need to have another panel so I can put two buttons on the same place in the grid. Or border layout, and then I can put north, south, east and west. Is it going to be like east and west with this small space? But if I put the center, I'm going to have to put one panel to have these two buttons in the center. So, either ways, which one would like to go? Border layout? Let's go border layout. So, okay. So, uh, this down here, I'm just going to have it to be border layout. I need to have a panel, so I can put this panel to be border layout. And then that panel, I'm going to have another panel where I'm going to put the left and right. So let's just uh, create another panel. Private. This one is J panel. Don't, I don't need to have a draw. I'm not going to draw anything in it. So panel, let's say uh, buttons. And uh, I'm going to use another one. Uh, I'm going to sub panel buttons are panel left right. So this panel left right is the one that I'm going to use here. Okay, uh, now I initialize this and I'm going to add this into the frame. This is going to be the first thing that I'm going to add. So this is uh, the drawing panel. And then the other thing I'm going to add is the panel buttons. So these panel buttons, I have not initialized it yet, so let's initialize it. The panel buttons is the panel that is going to hold these. Because now, in a grid, I need to put all four buttons there, so I need to put them in a panel so I can put them there. So now these panel buttons, I'm going to initialize them. And uh, do I need to, this panel is going to be by default flow layout centered, so I'm going just to use that. Or is it? No, I don't want to. I want that panel to be new border layout. That's what you said you wanted. So let's just do that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, in that panel button, I'd like to be able to add those four buttons. So I need four buttons. J button. So it's going to be button right. Another button left, another button up, and another button down. And before putting anything in them, I'm just going to initialize those buttons. So the button right, new J button, and then inside of it just right. Later, I will add the actions later. But for now, I don't want to because I don't know what action I'm going to do. What should what should it do? What should, what should it do? I, I'm I still not sure yet. So I'm just going to just now by just pushing them, and then later on I'll put the, I'll add the action later. So down, and then in this panel button that I put in the border layout. I'm going to, in the panel button, I'm going to add the button uh, up. But in where should I put it? In the border layout, I'm going to put it north. And then copy and paste and see. Now this one, I'm going to put it uh, north, south. Let's just go south. And then east. Let's try that. East and west. Maybe with the east and west, it's going to be enough. So s down. So on the east is the right. On the west is the left. Now this is just going to prepare this panel with having this kind of format. And this is the panel button that I'm adding 
at the bottom of the frame because the frame has a, is a grid layout. Now if I just run this, am I going to be see something? Yes, but not exactly what I wanted, right? So, what should I do? So even the border layout, you see, doesn't, did not help because as you can see, the border layout took the whole thing. I don't want it to take the whole thing. I want it to be like this. So the border layout is not helping. How to fix this? Let's not make it border layout. Left and right and center, but I can put only one thing. Even if it's center, I'm still having a problem. Check this. Fix the up. Check the whole thing. Why well, I don't want to. The dimensions, I mean the gap, you mean? You'd like to add some more gap? So in the border layout, you'd like to mention like the gap to of what? Like a big gap? Let's just put 50. 50 is the okay so it helped here maybe small get them smaller but didn't help with this up and down so the border layout didn't help what about removing these no border layouts and then just putting them as a flow layout what is going to happen well, by default, they're going to be a flow layout, right? So they're going to be up, down, left, and right, centered in the center. Now, can I... In a grid layout. In a grid layout, maybe it might be interesting. So grid layout. Grid layout of what? Three rows and one column. Then if I have the grid layout of three rows in one column, I mean this one is going to be yeah. if I just remove this because I have three columns. So now it's going to be like this. We do we do what? The panel left right. Well we will. We will use the panel left right, and this is what is going to make it interesting because this panel left right is going to give you something interesting that you're going to have a that you will realize. Now this panel left right, I just need to initialize it. And I'm not going to put any anything because I want it to be in flow layout. And by default, flow layout center, that's what I would like to. And then in this left right, I'm going to add I'm going to add these two buttons, the one on the left first, then after that the one on the right. And then instead of adding these two, I'm just going to add the panel left and right. Now check what is going to happen now. Now this panel left and right, I just put the buttons in it and I put this panel inside the panel buttons. Now check this. Wow, well, because I made a mistake. I put the left, I wanted to put the down here. Yeah, so uh, this is up, this is down, and then here, this is the left, right, where I put the left and then the right. If I run, now this makes more sense. So these are okay. These ones, not really. So, how to do to fix this? No idea? Every row in the flow layout, very good. Now, how to do that? I'd like this, now this grid, for every row, I'd like it to be in the flow layout. But there's no such thing. 
But what I can do is that notice that when I put a panel, the panel is by default a flow layout. So what I can do is something like this. I'm just going to put them in a panel up. Well, this is not the best solution, but I mean, this is one of the solutions based on just what we know. Panel up, panel down, and what I'm going to do in these panels, I'm just going to initialize them and then panel down. And all I'm going to do in this, I'm putting these panels is just the button button up each panel this up and down are going to have only one thing the buttons and then instead of putting those buttons inside the panel button it's going to be just panel of panels panel up I'll just panel down and if I run this it's getting closer yes now how to get those things to shrink well what I'm going to do I'll just to not spend too much time on that instead of having a grid layout I'm going to make it a border layout because I don't want to spend too much time on that and this in the border layout now this here, when I'm going to add them, this panel is going to be in the center because I want, I want something to be more interesting. So panel center, center. And this panel of the buttons, I'm going to put it in the, in the south. And this, because the south is taking less space, just by doing this, it will just shrink the space here and give me more time, more space up, upwards. And if I move this around, actually this is what helps me get it done. So, so it will look like this. Now if I play with the size, I will make it look like this. But for now, I'm more interested in this area, so I'm going to leave this area to be having more space. But as you can see, if I just make it smaller, it's just going to look like this one something like it so anyways that's a lot of fun so you see now what I what I had to do to do this this is a grid layout first of all the frame is a border layout this is the center this is the south in the south I have a grid of three rows one column in each one of these grid cells, I put a panel, inside that panel, I put a button. In this one, I put two buttons, and this one, I put a button. But I'm putting the buttons there just because I would like to have the flow layout in each one of those cells. So that's why I have like one, two, three, and then four, five panels. With this one is like my special panel that I just, that I just created. So now let's go, let's go to the business of doing something. What if I'd like to draw this red ball inside this, this uh, new thing, this my panel here? Did you realize that my panel here is exactly like a panel for now? But I would like to be able to change the way it behaves, so that's why I created a subclass of it that I have more control of. Now I'd like to override a specific method and that specific method that I would like to override is uh, not coming from the panel directly because it's maybe from the components. I just like to. I'm just curious to find out from where I'm, in a, I'm implementing that. Paint. So it's coming from J component that is the superclass of panel. So this is how this works. So J panel is a subclass of J component, which is a subclass of container, subclass of component, a subclass of object. Now panel is a subclass of J component that has this, one of the interesting methods, and there's one method that I would like to, is this paint. 
Now this paint will allow me to paint thing, and, and this is, if you want to remember this, I mean, there's also this paint component, but I think the paint is enough. Uh, I think just paint is the one I'd like to, to implement. So it's paint, not paint component. This is, uh, the example there is, the paint component is, uh, I'm not sure there was a difference. But I think I'll try with paint. Okay, now this paint here, what it does, it's just going to allow me to draw something in it. Now this graphics here that is given to me as a parameter is something that allows me to do a lot of these drawings. And I would like to draw, as you can see, you can have a lot of drawing thing that you can do. You can draw a 3D rectangle, you can draw an arc, draw some bytes, some chars, some images, a line, an oval, a polygon, a rectangle, a round rectangle, and you can draw a text, a string. And so that's, let's just draw, and now if I'd like to draw a circle, now what are the options that I have? Now there's this oval, what is the difference between an oval and a circle? I'd like to, so I can help understand which method I'd like to use. Now, check this one. I'd like to draw a circle, but there's no draw circle, but there's draw oval. What does the draw oval takes? Width and height. Because an oval is like a, a, f a circle that has, you see, two uh, X and Y, a position on the screen. It's an X and Y. Remember, this is the zero. The, the corner of the screen is the zero, then this is the positive x, and this is the positive y. So you need to mention where the center is going to be, and this is like the width, and this is the height. Now for a circle, the width and height is the same, but for oval, if it's like this one is shorter or bigger, it's going to be like oval, because it's uh, this one is smaller than this one, or so it's going to be like the center. So if it's the exactly the same number, the height and weight are the same, this is a circle. If they are different, then it's going to be an oval. That's why they give you here the method to draw oval, which is more free to give you a lot of things. But I would like to do just, you know what, I'm going to put 20 or maybe 50. 50, 50, which means this is going to be the center. So the center is going to be 50, 50, somewhere here. And then with the size, I don't know, I'm going to put 10. 10, 10. What's important for me if I'd, if I'd like to draw a circle is that these two numbers should be the same. And if I'm drawing a, something of, of a, like an egg, well, it's going to be different. Yes. For the location of the center. Well, you know what? It's not this. Uh, anyways, it's not. It's location actually of the top left corner of the circle. But I want you to realize that. But m m normally, what we think is that we put this here, right? It's the center, and then we put ten. It's going to draw ten. I'm just going to take take you there slowly. But let's just try that. This, imagine now this is just the center, but actually it's not the center. But if what if, if I do this now? What happens is that every time when I run, what is going to happen is going to draw a circle at this position. Now notice the 10 is kind of small. This is 50, 50. But let's make it bigger. By 50, 50, for example. Now run. Now this is a bigger circle. Maybe. This is going to be enough, but what if I move it now to 150 and 50, which means 150, it means the X is going to move, the Y is going to stay the same. Let's run. So let's just move it here. And then what if I'd like to know now to put it in the middle, in the center? Yes. I'm sorry? You put none? Okay, but set location, 
if I'm putting, yeah, you're, that's a good thing. You're, you're referring to this thing. Set location relative to. Now, first of all, does it exist in the panel? That's the first thing. The second thing is that I'm drawing inside that panel. So it's like the panel, when it draws, I just change it to make it draw a circle inside of it. So the way it's the drawing of the circle, I'm just coordinating, uh, specifying where it's going to be uh, placed. Now, how can I mention that this should be the circle, not the panel, relative to nothing? Now, first of all, all I need to, to do is work with this G, right? This G is the graphics variable. Now, G, does it have this set relative to... No, it doesn't. Because it's, I don't know if it's J frame, but let's just see. This is about window. It's, uh, it's about, these are about windows in general, which this panel doesn't, is not a subclass of. We've seen the panel is a subclass of J component, a subclass of another component, subclass of something, and then object. So window is not part of it. So I'm not going to be able to have this method here. I need to do it myself. So how can I make sure that this is in the center of this panel here. It would be nice that if I knew what's the height, uh, sorry, the, the width of this panel and the height of the panel, I just divide them by two and then oh, here it goes. I have the, the middle of the X and the middle of the Y. Can I get that? Well, let's find out. Now, this is a panel, which means I have access to the methods. If I use get, what do I have? Do I have the something that get size? Maybe get size is going to give me something. Or oh, get size gives me a dimension. Okay, what is a dimension? A dimension is something that has an X and Y. And what this is basically what I'd like to have. Now let's let's do something. Before putting these numbers, I need to do some calculations first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some uh, well, int x, which is going to be this get size. Get size is going to give me a class of type dimension. If I use dot, it's going to tell me, oh, these are the instance variables that are available. These are public. So x is the width. So this is going to give me the width. No, the width is an int. But it's coming from dimension. Now let's, make let's take a baby step to reach this. This is what I'd like to do, but I'm going to do it in a, in a smaller steps, uh, in a bigger number of steps so we're going to see it. First of all, I need to use get size. Okay. Get size is going to give me something that is a dimension. So before using it, I need to have a dimension. Equal the get size. Now this dimension, what is it? It has height and width. And I need, I'm interested in the height and width. So this width is going to be inside the variable called x. And the height, the height is it going to be in the variable called y. And then this x and y are going to be the center of my screen. Right? by two because if I put it in the center of my screen it's going to just going to be the size which is the whole thing and then it's going to be the bottom left corner that's not what I want to do but I would like to divide by two and you know what let's just divide by two here which is going to result into the same thing so I'm just not going to use this more interesting so I prepared the values to be like this so I don't need to do this but this is like um, some kind of a shortcut Basically, what I need to do to do is just this. I'm just going to show you now the shortcut because I'm interested into doing this. So this is get size. The get size is going to give me a dimension, and from that dimension, I'm going to use the width or the height that I divide by two, and I put them into x or y. So this is like this like this step except that well this one calls the method twice 
This one calls it just once, but it uses a variable, so it uses more memory. This one just calls the methods. So anyways, it's a trade-off. Now I have, anyways, let's just try that. Now if I run this, or maybe make the circle a little bit bigger, so I'm going to see it better. Huh. That is not the center. Because, as I mentioned, the number here, this x and y, are not the numbers of the center of the circle. Whatever you draw, let's say you're drawing, you're drawing uh, something on the screen. When you draw something on the screen, what happens basically is that it tell it the, 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 this number here that we use, it's like you're putting the coordinates of the top left corner of some kind of a square or a rectangle. And inside this, this is where your circle is going to be drawn. The circle is going to be reaching the, I mean, the borders of each one of them. I just failed to draw it correctly. So when you do something like this, this is what you mentioned. You mentioned the, the corner of your top left. This is what you're mentioning. And this one is, if you pay attention, it's exactly at the center. If you look, if you, if you draw some kind of rectangle, this is going to be at the center of your frame. Just half of the width and half of the height. So when you draw something like this thing, it's not going to be exactly in the center. If you want it to be the center, it should be like pushed a little bit back and up. Of about what amount of back and up? Well, maybe half of the size of this whole thing. So for example, if I'm doing, let's just do it 100, so to so make it easy to calculate. Now this is 100, I'd like this uh, to run. Let me stop this, so you can see the size of 100, how big it is. And it shows you clearly that this is where the size is. So half of this, I would like to move it back. So which means the width is going to be half of 100, which means 50. And with the Y, I need it to go up a little bit, so another minus. 50. And now, for the height, no. Because the positive, this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, this is whatever it is. So if you'd like to go up, you need to reduce the value. So this is 0, this is 10, this is 100, this etc. 20, etc. So it goes up like this. So if you'd like to move it up to the screen, you have to, dis to decrease the, the y. Because the, the axis origin is not here, but here. And as you can see now, it's uh, really in the center. Yes. Because it's half of the 100. Notice that, you see, what I did is that this, uh, let me just erase those. And uh, I have drawn this, th this is the center, right? This is the center. When I took this center here, it just drew the kind of, uh, it's actually, it's a square in this case because it's the same size here. And it drew a circle inside that box, like this square. Now I'd like to move the square. By how much? By this whole distance? That's half of it, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm just taking this distance, cut it in half, and just move half of there. I need to do the same thing again on the top. And for this width, I just need to move half of it. That's why I put this to be 100, which is easier for me to split into two. So this is just going to make it really in the center. Now when you're playing a game, you're going to enjoy more the efforts that developers put into just making the game look really like the this looks at this place at this size etc you have to play with all these numbers of course with more elaborate games you have more elaborate classes that you can use but this is the basics of gaming or any animation 
you have to draw everything you yourself and you have to mention the size or where this is going to be etc and this is now what to do in order for you to draw this circle in the center here so you need to first know that the center is not actually the value that we give here when we draw things these values are not the center but the top left corner of some kind of imaginary rectangle that is going to be not drawn but inside of it inside of which the circle is going to be drawn and then if we'd like to be it in the center we have to do some calculations first to this get get size just to make it clear this is coming from this what is the I'm just putting this so you can clearly see that this is this what is this this is the move ball no this is the my panel I'm inside my panel my panel so I'm using this here I'm getting the size of this my panel and from that size it gives me the just the dimension a dimension I can extract the width from it I divide it by two and then I subtract half of this now what I can do for example if I say int size uh, circle size size of circle and I put 100 I can just put the size of circle here size of circle here and this is size of circle divided by 2 this is what I basically I'm, I was doing so I can draw things here if I change minus to plus both of them yes. what is going to happen is that now this is where it's drawing and instead of moving this now what I would like to do I would like to move this a little bit like this it's going to move further down like this so it's going to be even further down there let me just see it so it goes even further down now without this divide by two uh, without this thing let's put this uh, I'm going to remove the uh, corrections so this is the correction without the correction it's already kind of off now if I just add this correction and add the plus instead of the minus it is going to be even way off but by putting back it just puts things in the center yes okay that's a good point this was my next step first of all before the red I would like this to not be just the line I would not like this whole to be the whole color now by default you see the color is black that's the default color but I would like to change that so before drawing I can change the color to set color and then make it red now that means from now on if I draw something it's going to be red I did not touch the background, the background uh, well the, okay the, then this is something I, I'm, I should not use draw oval draw oval is going to draw oval but there's another one fill oval fill oval is basically the same as draw oval except that it just colors the inside of it so now instead of doing this I'm just going to remove the draw oval and make it fill oval and now this whole thing becomes red so draw oval just draws a line fill oval just fills it now notice one thing I set the color if you set it before or after it makes a difference because this is by default black and then you, s you draw it with black then you change the color which means if you draw something after like say for example if I just uh, hold on I'm going to put something elsewhere let's say I'm going to put something in this 50 50 and then uh, 50 50 now I'm drawing another oval at this position 
Now this first one is going to be with that color that was the default one before, the black, and this one is going to be now in the red. And if I'd like this to be red as well, all of them red, well just put them here. And as soon as you'd like something to change the color, you just set the color again. So for example, this one is red because both of them are red. Now I would like to change the color to something else. So G dot set color. And then this one, let's make it blue. Blue. And let's run. So this one is red. Then I change the color to blue and I drew something above it. So that's what we're going to be doing, inshallah, this uh, good part of this week, is playing with these drawing things. So uh, now there's no time for you to practice this, but next class, inshallah, the first thing we're going to do is that you're going to be drawing this kind of thing. Now, let me just summarize because I don't want to show you the code first. I will show you the code about the painting and everything. But I'd like you just to, first of all, remember how to draw this. Now this, you're able to draw this again. Now what we did for this is that this whole thing is a border layout. This is the south and this is the center. The center, I created a subclass of J panel because I would like to color and do things in the inside that panel. And then here, what I had to do, in this here, what did I do again? How did we get these buttons, you remember? It's a grid layout, and each button, or set of buttons, is inside the panel. Even if the panel does not have any other thing, I don't have anything, you see panel up, panel down, I just initialize it, and add something to it, that's it. I don't even change the flow or whatever. And by default, it's a flow layout, centered. And that's what I'd like you to do. Next class, inshallah, when we start, you just wait for me to tell you go. I'm just telling you go right now. Any questions?